Hey y'all. So we're gonna do a little love reading. We're gonna see what's going on with your person. Uh, this is usually, you know, those of y'all who are fighting or who are in separation right now because I'm pulling out this deck. Okay, I felt drawn to pull from here. Yeah, look, fighting. See what I'm saying? They don't want to fight no more. <laughs> so yeah, this is the energy I'm picking up on. So somebody needs to receive some clarity. So let's see what does the collective need to know. Holy Spirit, what do they need to know right now? I want your address on my GPS right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, damn. This is why they want your address on their GPS. They want to come through and they want to get it popping. <laughs> They're thinking about you in a freaky way, okay? Oh my goodness. All right. Well, spirit, is, isn't it a little too early for this? But all okay. right. Let's see. Somebody don't care what time it is. Like, you you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He wants you. Yeah, look, right now. You see what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Let's see. <laughs> Spirit. All right. Let's see what we got here. We have here, only you know how to kiss me. All right. For some of y'all, this person uh, feels like you the only person that knows how to, how to kiss them. Nobody else could do that. All right. We have here. Oh, my God. There's a karmic that's doing love spells on this person for money. And it says here, make it a habit to use protection herbs, sage, palo santo to cleanse and clear negative energy around you and your surroundings. Okay. Because this person has a karmic doing voodoo on them. Okay. So, Spirit is saying cleanse your energy because, you know, she could be sending you evil eye. All right. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Oh my God, we have a Capricorn here. This could be you or the karmic or them. And it says, you always brighten up my days. And yeah, again, they don't want to fight with you no more. They want to be back in your energy. Okay, they want to free themselves from this uh, karmic over here, doing voodoo on them. All right, they feel like they never met somebody like you before. Tell me more. Oh, you see, they don't want to deal with this karmic anymore. Break up separation with the karmic. They want you to unblock them. You, some of y'all have this person blocked. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay, y'all? Because it's a collective reading. So, you know, that's why I keep saying some of y'all. All right. Uh, we have here. Yeah, I told you she's sending evil eye. You see what I'm saying? All right. This karmic is sending you evil eye. They don't want you, you know, to succeed with this connection. They're trying to, they could be trying to block it, all right? Because they need this person for money, for stability. All right, I'm thinking about you right now. Yeah, I'm telling you, they having freaky thoughts right now at, uh, what time is it? Seven o'clock this morning? Like, they thinking about you <laughs> early in the morning, y'all. <laughs> All right, it says here, you make me a better person. Yeah, they're realizing that this karmic, you know, got the worst from them, made the worst come out of them, and you, you are somebody that's making them feel like, you know, like, you make me a better person. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Oh, boy. It says here, they're trying to send low vibrational lovers your way so that when you have sex with them, they lower your vibration and impact your destiny and purpose. So we have here sexually transmitted demons. This karmic could have a sexually transmitted demon and they're trying to have sex with this person. Uh, they could also be trying, again, to send voodoo your way, it's trying to send low vibrational lovers your way you know like you know like like bitch here i'm gonna send this this demon dick over there to you you know stay away from me and my person i'm, I'm trapping this dude I'm, I'm gonna keep him i need his money i'm gonna send somebody you know to fuck with you and you know and you're not even entertaining anybody that's trying to holler at you <laughs> oh my god these bitches be doing too much tell me more holy spirit oh too many too many cards all right, tell me more, Holy Spirit. It 
it says here, uh, I pray that you didn't move on. Okay, we have here, I'm ready. And Spirit is saying, trust the plan. Okay, so this person, you know, they probably wasn't ready in the past. Uh, you know, they probably had a lot of work to do or whatever. And they went through this karmic cycle and now they're, they're ready. Okay, we also have here that they're ready to get it popping. <laughs> this person cannot wait to explore your body. All right, we got a lot of frisky energy. <laughs> All right, they feel like you the plug. Again, for some of y'all, nobody could kiss them like you. All right, for some of y'all, this person just feels like, you know, they want to get to know you more. Uh, you're somebody that, you know, is different. They never met somebody like you. You make them a better person. You brighten up their days. And, and you know, on top of that, they're they wondering, you know, like on top of you being such a loving and, and loving light type of person, you know, what, what, that, what that thing do? You know, what that mouth do? <laughs> You know, like, I feel like they also want to see the other side of you. All right. So you want Holy Spirit. Let's see what we got from this deck. Okay, it says here, I'm learning lessons that will prepare me for you. Exactly. That's what's happening now. This karmic, you see, I'm ready. This person went through a karmic cycle. They're learning the lesson. And now they're ready to come back and, um get into a divine union this could be a divine masculine that we're picking up on right here you know like he was a karmic masculine but he went through the uh lesson with the karmic and now he's in it's, he's in a divine energy just like we all was we all was karmic at one point and we had to do the work to get to where we are now okay in this divine energy and it says here nothing can stop this love from happening okay yeah no karmic no voodoo no nothing all right. <laughs> no karmic. You see what I'm saying? The karmic is driving them insane. They are not with it right now. All right. This person uh, envisions spending the rest of their life with you, not with this karmic. All right. This karmic is trying really hard to trap them because they want them for stability. But this is not on the on the masculine's mind. They do not want this karmic. All right. Let's see what else. That's why they're praying that you didn't move on because they want to come. They want to come home to you. I'm hearing that song. Daddy's home. All right. Yeah, look, it says here, I can see us being a power couple. That's exactly what you guys are going to be. Okay. Uh, power couple, uh, divine union. Okay. Protected by the most high. This person didn't mean to cause you any pain. If they did, you know, if anything happened with the karmic, you know, it was just part of the game here. All right. And I need y'all to understand this is not for everybody. So y'all don't have to comment that, you know, you don't want to deal with this person. I'm getting here. This is somebody that is a divine masculine that had to go through this karmic cycle. It says here, look, officially missing you. They're missing you. They want to come towards you. For some of y'all, your name is Tamia. All right. Listen to that song. Watch, uh, read the lyrics, okay? And it says here, I miss you in my arms, okay? So for some of y'all, this person, you know, they miss you in their arms. They miss you, okay? I'm miss officially missing you, okay? They're missing your energy. Okay, we have here, I'm addicted to watching you, all right? Some of y'all, they're watching you on social media, we both cut each other deep. I would like to heal our wounds together. So whatever he did that he feels like, you know, he didn't mean to hurt you. He wants to heal that. And uh, he feel that like you cut him deep. Maybe you cut his ass off. We have here that you that you blocked him. So, you know, you know, he just wants to he wants to heal the connection. Exactly. You see, he never meant to cause any pain. That's the card I just just mentioned. Yeah, this person doesn't want to cause any pain. All right. They want to heal. All right. They don't want to fight no more. It says here, I don't blame if you walked away from me forever. I was terrible. Yeah, exactly. There, there's something about them really feeling regretful, you know, remorseful, feeling like, damn, I, I, I shouldn't have handled it like that. I didn't mean for that to, you know, to turn out like that, you know. Uh, I don't blame you if you cut me off and you block me forever. But, you know, I just want you to know that I, I didn't mean to cause you any pain, okay? I would like to heal whatever wound I caused, okay? Uh, we have here the grass ain't greener. Yeah, for some of you, all the wound is that they chose a karmic over you. All right, but you got to look at it from a higher perspective and understand that, again, these were these were uh, karmic cycles that this person needed to experience to prepare them for you, okay? Now they know what it's like to be in hell. They don't want to go back over there. They want to be in heaven with you, all right? You brighten up their days. They want to be happy with you, all right? They needed to experience that to grow. It says here, you are the only one that I can truly be vulnerable with, even when I don't want to be, all right? This person feels like they could be vulnerable with you, like they could be, again, like, you know, you're somebody that uh, is just, you just give this energy, like very loving, caring energy, and they want to be with you. All right. You make them a better person. You make them want to be vulnerable. You make them want to heal whatever wounds. 
All right, yeah, this person is tired of living a lie. They could, again, they could be caught up with this karmic. Uh, they're ready to separate. They're ready to break up. And it's because they're tired of living this lie. They want to be with you, okay? Let's see. We have here end of the road. So, you know, I feel like they're at the end of the road with this karmic. Uh, you can listen to these songs to see the... Um, the lyrics but this person feel like you know even though we're at the end of the road i just cannot let you go like the song is saying you know like please you know give me another chance all right so let's see tell me more from here just let me pull from here right? It says here we argue and fight about you yeah the karmic is mad she knows that you uh that you are this person's soulmate all right i just saw cancer so i saw uh what was it capricorn and cancer could be relevant i want you to meet my kid or my kids and my family yo this person wants something serious okay they don't want to deal with this karmic they could be even depressed right now being in a situation that they that they don't want to be in and they're gonna make their way out of it because again i'm tired of living a lie okay let's see we have here i want to reach out but i don't want you to ignore me okay so i don't feel like you're gonna ignore this person i feel like you are open to you know to see what this person has to say to you uh some of y'all unblocked this person some of y'all never blocked this person all right take it take it how it resonates but they're scared to reach out we have here what's this practitioner oh my god this fucking karmic bro <laughs> uh they're going to a practitioner to help them cast a spell all right so the karmic is really trying to hold this person back all right and they're doing voodoo that could be why this person is having like anxiety and, and fear when it comes to them reaching out to you because this karmic is doing these spells to have them feeling stuck you know fucking around with their mental Talking about mental, it says here, I'm manifesting this connection knowingly or not through my thoughts. And we saw that they're thinking about you, sexual thoughts or not, but they're thinking. All right, it says here, you were a rebound. I needed you to get over him or her. Okay, so listen, when I wrote this card, the message that I was trying to send out is not a negative message like, oh, you a rebound. It's more like they needed you. They needed your light to show them that there, there's something else out there, you know, to show them what it's like to be with a loving person, you know, to show them that love is not, uh, you know, drama filled, you know, it's not all about toxicity. This is somebody that could have been raised around toxicity, uh, childhood issues, abandonment issues, whatever, trust issues, because we see something about them, you know, not wanting to be vulnerable. So they probably thought that love was you know chaotic and 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 drama filled but you again you you showed this person the light okay you brighten up their days you made them a better person and this is what they're trying to say when i needed you so that i could get over this energy more like i needed to see the light okay this is what this this card is saying okay so don't be feeling like you know i ain't no fucking rebound <laughs> You know, it is what it is. That's how it is with everybody. You know, everybody's an ex. Everybody's a rebound. All right. But in this case, that's what I'm trying to say. All right. This person needed to, you know, to, to meet you, to experience you, even if it was a short time for some of y'all, but they was able to see that this is what they want. You know, that the grass is green where you at. All right. They don't want this toxicity anymore. Yeah. And they're telling you here to wait for them. They want you to wait. They want you to wait until they get out of this karmic cycle. All right, let's see. <clears throat> All right, it says here we have unfinished business. I don't want you to be with anyone else. All right, again, unfinished business, wait for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't want you to move on. All right, let's see what else. They regret what they did. Yeah, they regret uh, choosing the karmic. But if you look at it from a higher perspective, it all needed to go down just like that. Spirit, let me get one more. We're going to close it out. So the karmic is going to end up doing reversal spells when she sees that it ain't working no more. And again, they want to reach out, but they're nervous. Okay. We have here. <laughs> that this person is still uh, fantasizing about what they're going to do when they see you. And they want to do this soon. All right? 
Stay woke.